So welcome to Ashley Nicole channel. I am Ashley Nicole and today I'm about to share with you guys my updated nighttime skincare routine. I have acne prone skin. It may not look like it, it may not seem like it because I have learned how to handle my skin, okay? I am in control that's for sure so I kind of wanted to share with you guys my nighttime routine it's really simple it doesn't consist of many products and being consistent is key consistent we already know to drink water but being consistent on those nights where you really don't feel like taking your makeup off those are the nights where I need you to really push through and be consistent because it's going to help you maintain and keep clear nice beautiful looking skin have some new products that I've added to my nighttime routine that wasn't in my previous one and I will put a link or a card here picture here of my previous video that I did I think a few months ago so I really want to be able to share that with you so I'm about to wash my hands after I tie my hair back we need to make sure our hair is out of the way boom bam simple as that so Yes. Okay, we're set. I totally believe in double cleansing. So I used to use Fenty cleanser, Fenty skin cleanser, the all-in-one cleanser. I've changed it up. I've really changed it up and I've been loving my change up. So now I'm using Keys So Care Golden Cleanser as my first cleanser in my double cleanse routine. <music> rocking with me for a while you already know you already know what product I'm about to share always and forever <laughs> my proactive plus skincare smoothing exfoliant it has benzoyl peroxide it's the acne treatments and it honestly changed my life so I've been using this product for so many years like <laughs> years I can't even express how grateful I am for proactive plus this has been what's worked for me this has been what's working for me this is what's working for me this is what helped me keep my acne prone skin under control my menstrual cycle that I just finished uh, left me with a bump and the bump has gone down it's a little bit you know I could feel it a little bit but it has gone down so proactive helped me not only get rid of the acne but also get rid of the acne scars so i love it um also had a bump right here but as you see it's going away i have a lot of little freckles too so that's also something you would see how I cleanse my skin. I know you noticed that I didn't put any of that uh, 
neither one of them on my neck. Now, the key soak care, I would definitely, when I'm in the shower, I definitely use it around my neck. But with Proactive, I do not put it on my neck because Proactive is strong. It will um, dry out my neck skin. And so I, I try to stay away from at, um, putting it on my neck. But the um, Key Soak Hair um, Cleanser, you can definitely use that to clean your neck. But I'm going to clean my neck when I get in the shower. <laughs> All right. So my skin has air dried. Um, usually, I will use a... Um, facial tissue to like pat it to make sure it's dry before moving on to my next step so let's move on to the next steps so yes I use all three steps to proactive plus they are a package you know what I mean you can't use one without the other in my opinion you won't get the same if you use one without the other you won't get the same results so I definitely use all three steps step two is the pore targeting treatment and i usually just use a tad bit that's a little bit a lot but and when you use proactive always allow the first step to dry Last time I did this video, I didn't have my eye cream, but I have my retinol. This time, I don't have any retinol. I ran out, but I have my eye cream. <laughs> Went a little backwards today. It's cool. So if you want to know, should you put your eye cream on before your moisturizer or your moisturizer on before your eye cream, you're supposed to go by the texture. So if your eye cream is thicker than your moisturizer, put your moisturizer on first and vice versa. So my eye cream is thicker than my moisturizer, so I'm gonna put my moisturizer on first. The moisturizer that I'm using is the Olay Vitamin C Plus Peptide. This has saved my life. It says hydrating moisturizer. It's definitely a hydrating moisturizer. No, no lie. I feel like it has improved the hydration in my skin. Uh, it's definitely worked wonders. Made my makes my skin appear more even. Of course, I have those highlighted, bronzy contour areas, which is natural. But overall, I feel like my skin looks healthy, clean, bright, hydrated. Everything a girl wants. Um, thanks to this, because one thing you need to know about Proactive Plus System is that it will dry your skin out. You will have dry patches. So don't play. Don't put too much of it on. And don't ever go without having a good moisturizing, hydrating, hydrating, which is key, hydrating moisturizer, okay? Sp especially at nighttime. That's when it really, really counts. In the daytime, it would have been super hot, Girl, my skin just greasy as ever. Oily, just, oh my gosh. Um, but at nighttime, I need to give my skin that moisture. This definitely transformed my skin overnight. Yeah. So let's go ahead and apply. <laughs> about to get into the eye cream usually before I do my moisturizer I'll put my retinol on but I don't have any right now so I'll definitely do an updated skincare routine when I have all my products in stock last but not least my eye cream this is the shiny Darden intensive eye renewal cream with firming peptides this is a anti-aging eye cream okay glass bottle love it pump applicator love it you only need a little bit I mean your eyes are not that your under eye is not that big but this is a little bit of a thick healthy eye cream which I love
I know I was making the ugliest faces to put that moisturizer on. Now, I haven't been using this specific eye cream that long, so I'm still in the making of seeing how it feels and fit in my routine. Yes, that concludes my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to make sure it was informative. I love sharing, you know, some nuggets with you girls and you guys. But if you are somebody who's looking to really you know transform your skin i would personally say this is definitely the route to go i will list all these products in the video in the description box below if you have any questions feel free to ask do not be shy do not be scared i love to talk about skin um, if you missed out on my previous on my original skincare nighttime routine go ahead and check that video out it's up here here i actually have my retinol at the time so you'll see what kind of retinol i use how do i use it when do i use it how do i apply it um but yeah if you have any questions again don't be scared if you found this video informative helpful in any way please give me a thumbs up um subscribe if you're not a part of the family and i will see you guys in my next video